Don't be quick about it or anything. Looks great, Huckle. Come again soon. Again, no one's paying for their food. They just walk in here and take it and go. It's like some, um, like there are members of the Federation or something and they don't have any no need for currency here. Actually, that would be hilarious. Uh, Star Trek kind of merged with Richard Scarry's busy town. Uh, the spaceship just sort of landed here and it's just a world full of furries. I wonder if there are laws against that in the Federation. Well, probably not. I mean, I guess I couldn't discriminate it against a particular race, even if it was animal-based. But Did you notice that none of the Star Trek races really are animal-based? They're all human-looking, which was something that I loved about Star Trek. I don't know if Star Trek's going to continue doing that or not. Cookies and lemonade. It's an, it's an odd choice. Uh, you don't generally, unless maybe they're like sugar cookies. Those look like they. Those look like they could be. Um, actually, probably would go with lemonade if they're uh, wedding cookies, which are uh, lemon t uh, cookies with the uh, powdered sugar on them. But they're probably just sugar cookies. But yeah. See, I can't come over here and start on the lemonade until that's done delivering the food. And uh, yeah, he'll actually walk over there to push it. Like the customer can't grab it themselves. And just wait for the lemonade. There we go. Fill her up. And you can't actually overfill the cup. I'm just, it just feels so slow that there's absolutely no way that I would overfill it unless I'm just not paying attention. Hey, that's exactly what I wanted. Come again soon. Good. Wonder what happened if I screwed up. I'm gonna deliberately get this next one wrong. What do you what want, do you Pig? Hello. May I please have a glass of milk? Is it chippy? Well, you're not getting milk. You're getting hot chocolate. What are you gonna do about it, huh? Hot chocolate. And let's move it over to the lemonade. What's that? Aw. Oh. oh, I can't mix the drinks. That's unfortunate. Alright, let's get you some lemonade then. You don't need to be drinking milk anyway. You can get lactose intolerance from drinking milk, or you drink milk from lactose. I don't. I don't know. Let's overfill the drink. Keep going. Oh no! All right. I can't. Can I not give it to him? Or there we go. Uh oh! I ordered something else. <laughs> wow, he's pretty polite about it. With foreshadowing information, we're going to be a complete dick to this guy later. <laughs> so I'm actually just kind of compounding on it. I wonder how many times I can do I bet I can just do this infinitely, just keep screwing it up. And he'll, uh... Fill her up. It'll just keep sending the drink back, I think. It won't, uh... There won't be any major repercussions <laughs> for being a delinquent. Uh-oh. I ordered something else. Yeah, it's gonna- I basically have to give him the right order. I have just- he'll just stand there forever until I do. I could just leave. Where is it? That's not the sound liquid makes. Is it just dropping it cup and all? Like, are these infinitely disposable cups? They must be plastic. They look like they could be glass, but they're probably plastic. And there's a sign of Bruno's smiling mug on the machine. I wonder why he's got a picture of himself there where none of the customers could see it. What may I get for you? Hello. Apple and hot chocolate. That actually sounds kind of delicious. Apple. I'm gonna go over here and then wait. You know, I can move faster than this machine. I could have just grabbed it as it was coming down, give it to the person, and then run over here to the side and make their hot chocolate. I like the little steam coming out to let you know that it's hot. I know they all have the capacity for steam to come out of them, but only one of them's loaded with hot chocolate. I wonder what I do if a customer decides they want cold chocolate. Do I just put milk in it and then move it over and put the chocolate in? 
Well, no, because if I did that, then it would dump the chocolate or the milk into the machine. Where I guess it recycles itself? What may I get for you? Oh, there's Huckle's well, sister. May I have some green peas? Coming right up. Wow. Huckle's sister sounds like a little boy. I'm gonna have fun making fun of that later. Uh, this one actually one of those games are just perpetual. Um, I think I'm gonna ditch the next customer. And just leave and show you some of the other games. Huckle sounds more like a girl than his baby sister does. All right, screw you, Fox. I'm outie. You like today? Yeah. Thank you so much. Goodbye. Yeah, we were gonna leave whether or not Bruno came back or not. So <laughs> I guess it lucked out that he came back just as we were gonna go. All right. So that was the uh, Bruno's Deli game. The, uh, deli. yeah. Uh, let's work the at the gas station. station. These people just sort of let you come in and do stuff. Um, no qualification needed or anything like that, which gets... Station. I'd forgotten that song. Now I'll never forget again. Alright, um... This one, I think, maybe gets a little bit complex. Because, uh, if I'm not mistaken, there's a reason that fire extinguisher's up there. Hey, an ambulance! I just show up. No one, I'm not even helping anybody. I just show up and start pumping people's gas. Alright. Super. One, two, three... Four, five. And I'm not running back to put the thing back. It's doing that by itself. Bye, ambulance. Hope there wasn't anybody back there. All right, he's next. It's, I think, the fox on a motorcycle. The dude I ditched at the deli. Well, I'd already served him once before at the belt. You're not even on your bike. You can walk two feet and get it yourself, dude. Look at that. He's like right next to it. Oh, and I can't screw this up either. It actually, I think, automatically stops when you hit the next number. I don't think you can overdo it. I'm going to try on the next one, though. Because if I'm not mistaken, messing up has hilarious results for the gas station. But again, it's been... God, when was the last time I played this game? About 10, maybe 20 years ago? Oh god, it was 20. Oh god, I'm old. Hold on. Family full of bunnies. Oh, this is going to be great. All right. One, two, three. Ah, uh, ah, oh, oh, I can't overdo it. <laughs> it even tells me to stop. It forces me to do it correctly. I can't screw up on this game. All right. Um, I can't go over to like the water tin or the fire hydrant so I do think I can give people air in their tires if they ask for it though what would you like today three gallons of unleaded all right let's see if I can grab this <laughs> fine then uh oh uh oh all right um screw this game next see you later get your own gas uh Communist pig? I think maybe they're just German. That's actually really suspicious looking. I don't know why I never paid attention to that before. 